Hi guys, I'm Sarah and it is a bit of a cold and dreary school holidays day today. I thought I would make some nice warm bacon and baked bean muffins for our lunch today. So first thing I'm going to do is get an onion and three to four rashes of bacon. I'm just using, I'm just using three rashes of um, middle bacon, just the really cheap stuff. A little bit of oil in a frying pan and very finely slice up one sort of medium sized onion, doesn't have to be a huge one. I'm going to chop this up as finely as my sensitive eyes will allow me. This is actually a, web, a recipe that came from the Pack and Save website, so I'll put a link down to that below as well. So I just cook the bacon and onion until they're nice and tender, and then just put to one side for it to start cooling down. In the meantime, in a bowl, we're gonna add three cups of self-raising flour. Now we want two teaspoons of mustard powder. I'm not sure if you can substitute with just normal mustard in a squeezy thing. I, I suspect that will of course alter the texture, you're replacing a dried powder with liquid format, but um, give it a go if that's all you've got. Then we just want to add half a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. So give that a wee mix up. Then we want two to three teaspoons of parsley. I don't have parsley, however, I've grown some carrots in my garden and I have carrot tops. Seriously, it is a great parsley substitute. Don't waste anything. <laughs> so I'm just gonna very finely dice up these carrot tops. The original recipe calls for one and a half cups of grated tasty cheese. I'm on a budget, so I'm using Coldy. <laughs> Mix those in. Gonna make a well in the centre. Just gonna mix our wet ingredients in another bowl first. Two eggs. One and a quarter cups of milk in with here. However, I'm not using milk. I'm using the whey left over from making yogurt. So I'm going to use the whey instead of milk, but you know, use milk. I just have this to use and I don't like wasting it. <laughs> and one 420 gram can of baked beans. I'm using oak baked beans because next, I'm not a big fan of the Pack and Save value brand. They're okay, sometimes mixed in with other things maybe, but I just find them a bit watery. I quite like the flavor of these, not everyone does. If you wanna use Watties, use Watties. There's the warehouse baked beans, the market brand, but I can't stand the taste of them to be honest. <laughs> I was really hoping I would like them, especially when they're on special, but uh, I tried them and no, <laughs> it was a no-go for me, so. Generally, I like either the oaked ones or um, the Countdown Woolworths home brand beans. They're, I actually really like them. So one can of beans in with this. Now we're going to pour all of this slop into the middle, which has now gone way over where the well is. <laughs> so just start mixing it from the middle. Almost forgot, we want to add our uh, bacon and onion into this mix too. Yeah. We're going to melt 100 grams of butter, or me being me, table spread, and just add that in bit by bit. Make sure it's really, really well mixed in. And I've got the oven preheating to 220 degrees Celsius. Divvy this out. Let's 
I've actually filled these right up and I've got a little bit of mixture left so I might have to, uh, I have to do a couple extra if you're feeling fancy which I usually am a little bit of extra grated cheese on top we'll put those in the oven 220 degrees celsius for about 15 minutes They both look and smell super yummy. <laughs> you can absolutely taste, you can taste the baked beans, taste the bacon, can taste the onion. They are, they are really, really super soft. They, they almost just melt in your mouth. These are so nice. I think I'll be doing these again. They are so nice. <laughs> I think with a bit of butter on is nicer but yeah if you like baked beans and you like bacon and you like onion boom those are the three flavors you get <laughs> you could even experiment chop up a bit of spinach a bit of greenery something like that it's actually quite nice you can definitely still see the beans in there yeah well I didn't mush them up or the anything nice little pops of flavor that it needs <laughs> really That's really good. It's very soft. Mm. Oh, yeah. I can definitely taste the cheese in there. Is it yummy? Yes, it is. I would <laughs> happily eat that. <laughs> it is good. You will happily eat that. <laughs> good on you. I'm trying to copy you. <laughs> awesome. Do it, people. Hit like. Leave me a comment. Hit subscribe. And have some of these while they're still warm. Oh yeah.